What's up? It's your girl Kia and it is time for your Mocha in the Morning Weekend Recap. I'm sorry that I missed you guys last week. I was having hair issues. Let's just put it out there. I wasn't busy, wasn't on vacation, I, my hair wasn't done, and I was not going to do a video unless my hair was done. <laughs> so let's get started. Congratulations um, go out to Idris Elba and Sabrina Dawe. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. They went in Morocco this weekend uh, in a beautiful ceremony. She wore Vera Wang. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful ceremony. So congratulations to them on the start of a beautiful marriage, hopefully. Um, and we all hate you, Sabrina, because you're taking the last super sexy black man on the planet. Um, congratulations go out to Joe Biden. He finally announced that he is running for president in 2020. Everybody has been dying for this announcement. Everybody knew it was coming. Nobody knew when it was coming. Um, he announced on Twitter, put out a video. I personally am disappointed in the video only because it was more talking about how awful Trump is and not what his policies are going to be. And I got a problem with that. He also went on The View. He talked about calling Anita Hill and giving her an apology. He also addressed the accusations that he's been a little too touchy-feely with um, women. And again, I was a little disappointed. It was a non-apology apology. It actually was barely an apology, but everyone loves Joe Biden. Even um, sourpuss Meghan McCain loves Joe Biden. So I think this is gonna be an interesting race. And I think of anybody who can beat Trump, it, it can only be either Bernie Sanders or Joe Biden. The rest of those, hodgepodge of democratic weirdos are just a lost cause. Scandal in the UK. Prince William apparently, rumor has it, was caught cheating on Princess Kate. Now these are just rumors. Apparently one of her friends was quote off quote expelled from her inner circle, a girl named Rose, and now everyone's assuming that Prince William has had, had, an, had an affair with Rose. I don't believe any of this. But, you know, his father cheated on his mother. Apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. So it could be possible, but there's no way Prince William is that messy to actually date or have an affair with a girl inside the inner circle. I mean, I don't understand that. But Meghan Markle still coming out on top. A lot of the memes on Twitter with Prince William cheating are all revolving around how Meghan Markle is now the reigning princess of hearts in, um, in the UK. Let's see what's next. Oh, um, yeah, Beyonce is still fabulous. That hasn't changed. Um, she is now partnered with Adidas for her Ivy Park line. She dropped some really sexy pictures on Instagram of her in a skin tight, one long sleeve, one piece kind of um, jumpsuit thing. And she was sprawled out around all these Adidas shoes. She also dropped this really awesome commercial with Grambling State promoting Adidas, uh, promoting HBCUs, promoting herself, of course, and it's a really, really great video. If you haven't catched it, it's on her Instagram, IGTV. Definitely watch it. Um, and I can't wait to see the Adidas Ivy Park line. It's going to be fabulous. So what to watch this weekend? Nothing else exists now that Endgame is out. So all I have to say is go see Avengers Endgame. It's supposed to be amazing. There's a lot of huge surprises. Go just to go in the lobby to see how the theaters have hooked up, you know, their different displays. Because apparently they're really, really getting into the creativity for this. So that's your weekend recap. I really hope you enjoyed your weekend. I hope you enjoyed this recap. I will catch you all on Friday on the Milk in the Morning Show and then next weekend for our weekend recap. All right? Later.